What's up there guys? Quick new video for you guys today. Uh, this is just going to be showing off Facebook Home on your Android device. I do believe it's only on a, like about five different devices right now, but it should. It's supposed to be getting updated every month. Facebook actually has scheduled it. Uh, but this is going to be showing it running on my Galaxy Note 2. Uh, so without any further ado guys, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so here we are back into the video. Uh, as you can see, right when you turn on your phone, it'll take you into the Facebook Home ecosystem right away. And it's really nice actually. And it doesn't prompt you for your PIN number right away if you do have one. It actually won't prompt for that until you uh, go into your apps and to do that, you just press on the screen, your little uh, profile picture will pop up. You uh, move that up into the app section, and then as you can see, here's a shortcut of uh, some of your apps that you use the most. I haven't set that up quite yet, but as soon as you just swipe right to the right, uh, it'll take you into all of your apps right away. And then you actually have to scroll up and down, kind of like the old gingerbread if you ever had the uh, original uh, droid. And it's kind of reminiscent of that. I personally am not a huge fan of that. I'm more of a guy who likes to swipe left and right to view his apps but uh, like I said that's personal pre preference but it does look really nice actually and then if you do want to like a picture all you have to do is uh, double tap on the screen it'll like it right there or you can click the thumb icon or if you want to leave a comment just click on the uh, comment icon and it'll bring up all the list of the comments and a nice little uh, kind of bubble pop-up type thing as well. And uh, scrolling through Facebook Home is very smooth. Facebook did a fantastic job with the coding and making sure that the uh, their customers and the, the people using this are going to have a, a very nice time using it. A very very uh, user friendly and very smooth experience. I'm definitely a huge fan of that. So props to Facebook with that one. Uh, their Facebook did their Facebook team did a fantastic job with that. And uh, basically, like I said, scrolling around is very smooth. And if you wanna, you can go into your settings just by clicking your menu button and then go into your settings and you can access all of that right here. Uh, as you can see, you can make it if you want to have it show the status bar. I don't have that on there. And then if you don't have the status bar showing, all you have to do is uh, just prompt it like that and the status bar will show up right then and there. And you can access everything like you normally would. And then the nice thing that I personally like about Facebook is the chat heads. Now those are definitely awesome. Uh, no matter what app you're in, if someone messages you, it will uh, pop up right away. So let's say you are in Instagram and you're scrolling through everything, and then all of a sudden someone messages you, uh, it'll pop up in a very nice chat head and you can move it around anywhere in the screen that you would like. Uh, so as you can see, here's one right here. You can move it around uh, as soon as you're done with it. Just bring it, swipe it down, and it is gone. And you can also set it up so your SMS will do that too. You can actually go into the Facebook Messenger settings and do that all there. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's really about it right now. Uh, hopefully, Facebook will come out with more updates soon. Uh, they said they're going to do it on a month-to-month -month basis. They have it all planned out, so it's actually scheduled. I'm not sure about the schedule, but you'll be able to look it up as you please. And the only thing I do really think that they need to work on is accessing the apps a little bit better. And then also the fact that there's no dedicated camera button or anything like that like in the corner you would think since it's a Facebook uh, home experience and a Facebook experience it would and it relies heavily on your pictures that they would have a dedicated camera button I actually had to scroll over here and move the Facebook app right into there so I could have easier access to it uh, but if you're not big in the Facebook this probably won't be for you I know I have a lot of people on here that I don't actually really talk to so uh, it's isn't super appealing to me I probably won't use it as my daily driver I'm gonna stick to Nova launcher uh, but if you are really big in Facebook this is definitely gonna be for you it's a very nice experience and everything like that uh, but anyways guys that's about it uh, I want to thank you guys for watching be sure to follow me on Twitter at black blizzard and at Instagram even same name as uh, my Twitter handle and if you have any questions or comments below be sure to leave it in the comments section below like I just said and let me know what you guys think about Facebook Facebook home. Do you like it? Do you hate it? That's about it. Thank